A majority of matter in the solar system is contained in the sun. The ability to physically study the atomic structure of the solar wind can dramatically improve our understanding of the formation of the solar system. Scientists believe the bodies in our solar system grew from a solar nebula made of gases, dust, and ice about 4.6 billion years ago. The outer layer of the sun today may be composed of the same elements and isotopes as when it was first created. What if we could precisely measure the abundances of the elements in our sun? Could we better understand why Venus has a thick atmosphere and is hot enough to melt lead? or why Earth's environment evolved to sustain life. That is the objective of the Genesis mission, to accurately measure the composition of our Sun to answer questions about our solar system and our past. To do this, Genesis collected solar wind atoms, pieces of the Sun, and returned them to Earth to be analyzed in the most advanced laboratories available. For 26 months, Genesis orbited one million miles from Earth, absorbing atoms of every chemical element on specially designed high-purity collectors at a rate of 1.4 trillion per second. On September 8, 2004, the sample return capsule re-entered Earth's atmosphere, headed for Utah and a spectacular mid-air capture by a waiting helicopter. Sadly, the parachute did not deploy and the capsule impacted the desert floor at almost 200 miles per hour. Due to the heroic efforts of the recovery team, 15,000 pieces of the shattered collector wafers were recovered still containing the solar wind atoms. After careful cleaning to remove surface contamination, many of the recovered fragments have been allocated to eagerly awaiting investigators. Armed with the world's best mass spectrometers, they have started extracting and counting the solar wind atoms. To date, precise elemental and isotopic abundances have been determined for noble gases such as helium, neon, and argon, as well as iron and magnesium. These are being compared with known abundances for Earth, the Moon, Jupiter, and Comet Vild 2. The list of results will grow for years to come as this reservoir of solar matter is tapped to provide the first exact measurements of the composition of the Sun.